Hello, brothers and sisters. This is Lisa, and I'm here to share the latest word posted from Glenda Lomax. The title is Obey Me Now. This is a repost from March 25th, 2011. Perilous times are upon you in the earth. Many are the schemes of those behind the scenes who have the power to divide and conquer. Many are the ways of their plans to defeat the will of the people to do what is right, to bring down those who bear my name in the earth. Yet it is not their faces nor plans you need to fear, my children, but the hand of your God, if you do not obey me, for my plans shall go forth and be carried out in the earth at this time. And woe to those who refuse to walk in my ways and do my will in these times, for they shall face the enemy without my wisdom or power to guide them in what they should do. Woe to those who languish in earthly pleasure and do not know the lateness of the hour at hand, for quickly shall I come and they shall be left behind, and face a fate far worse than mere death. Great will be the reward of those who will follow me and my will to the ends of the earth in these last days. Great and mighty will be the power they walk in and the glory they behold. They shall witness signs and wonders such as nothing this world has ever witnessed before, and great shall be their reward in heaven for enduring. I will speak in time soon coming to many of you of what I would have you to do for my name's sake. Be quick to obey, my children, for the time draws near for the bridegroom's return. Do not linger in seeking pleasure or chasing the things of this world, for you shall soon be leaving them behind. Trust me to supply your needs, for did I not promise in my word that I would do this for those who would walk in my ways? Do not be deceived, my children, into thinking the hour is not as late as it is, for that is what the enemy desires for you to believe. And if you linger at the pleasures of the world or refuse my commands, you will truly know regret. For the time is past for lingering and refusing to obey. I am real, I am alive, and I am watching to see if you will obey. If you will not obey me and obey quickly, I shall pass your task to another. At this point the Lord said, There will be some who are hearing this word and still refusing to obey him. To you he says, Obey me now, or face my judgment on your life. Then you will cry, Father, where is my reward? But I say to you that I passed that also to one more willing to sacrifice comfort, more willing to hear me and obey, for you were not willing. Make haste, my children. It is time to return from playing now and address the seriousness of the hour. You have heard my words. Now obey me, that you may escape the worst of what is soon to come upon the earth. And that is the end of this message. I pray you all have a beautiful day in the Lord. God bless each and every one of you, and I will see you either next video or in the air. Bye-bye.